based on the relationship between reaction rate and the concentration of reactants. Reaction can be classified into different orders. In a zero-order reaction, the reaction rate is a constant and thus independent of the concentration of reactants. For example, in the presence of a hot tungsten, ammonia gas is decomposed into nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas. This is a zero-order reaction because the decomposition rate remains unchanged if the concentration of ammonia gas is changed. In a first-order reaction, the reaction rate is directly proportional to the concentration of reactant. Thus, reaction rate is increased if the concentration of reactant is increased. For example, in the presence of catalyst, hydrogen peroxide is decomposed into water and oxygen gas. This is a first-order reaction, the decomposition is proportional to the concentration of hydrogen peroxide. In a second-order reaction, the reaction is directly proportional to the square of the concentration of reactants. For example, decomposition of ethanol vapor will generate methane gas and carbon monoxide gas. The reaction rate is proportional to the square of the concentration of ethanol vapors. Other common reaction orders include pseudo-first order and fractional order. For pseudo-first order, reaction rate is correlated with that reactant even though the concentration of that reactant is kept constant in the reaction. For fractional order, the reaction order is a non-integer, which is often observed in chemical chain reactions or other complex reaction mechanisms.